my own life experience growing up in Canada as a Chinese Canadian and also spending time in Asia really helped me understand the motivation of the characters there, the environment that they're in, the uh, surprise of being in that environment, and then the comfort level that came with time being there. The most challenging aspect of the show was trying to build Beijing and Seoul, Korea in Vancouver. Architecturally, there's nothing that's similar at all. So thanks to a really good location department and everyone working together, we found some good locations that were good starting points and I can embellish from there. And it got us to a point where I think it's believable. Hopefully it convinces the audience that we are in China for parts of the movie. My favorite set actually was one of the smaller sets. It was Nai Nai's bedroom. It was done in a location in Chinatown. And we had to add three walls to it. But um, the idea was it was a very romantic environment because she's transitioning into her roots of being Chinese. And so it was a very rich set. And I thought that we really brought a mood to the set. And that was probably the most rewarding set, even though it's one of the smaller sets. Two characters particularly rang true to me. One was Lolo because I'm an artist and I could relate to her being an artist and thinking that way and being kind of open-minded to many things. And also there was a line in the original script where Audrey felt more at home being in China than she felt in America. And being born a visible minority and growing up in Canada, and then going back to China and feeling more at home there myself, I totally related. When she said that comment, I go, I said the same thing. I feel more at home in China, even though I've lived most of my life here.